Welcome back to Morning Break, where we're taking a live look outside with our Farrah and Farrah. Tybee Island Sky Cam, still waters out there. Such a beautiful day, nice day to go to the beach before school starts back. The knowledge and history plays a vital role of fostering a strong community, and that's why the Coastal Heritage Society's All In initiative is giving underserved community members access to several museums and educational programs at no cost. I have Nora Lee, Executive Director of the Coastal Heritage Society, joining us in the studio to tell us more about your mission. Thank you so much for joining us. How are you doing this morning? Oh, I'm doing great. Thank you so much for having me on this morning. I really appreciate it. Yeah. I mean, what you guys do, having access to so many museums, teaching us about our culture, our history, um, which is really important to our community. Tell me a little bit about this campaign, campaign and why you hope more people can enjoy those museums. Sure, absolutely. Well, Coastal Heritage Society has been around for almost 50 years. We'll be celebrating our 50th anniversary next year. We're very excited about it. Uh, this initiative that we do um, has been going on for a while now, and um, we reach a lot of the community members and uh, in a variety of ways, both free access to our museums and going out in the community with our mobile museum. Um, and so we're very excited to bring it to the public to support us in other ways and, and help us grow and expand this initiative. Now, this initiative comes with a few freebies, right, for people um, in underserved communities. So they have free admission to different things. Tell me a little bit about that. Sure. So the focus of the initiative is really kind of threefold. One is we'll, we'll bring our mobile museum at no cost out into the community um, for a variety of different um, school groups, um, different STEM nights, different things like that. Uh, and then um, the biggest uh, resource has been we participate in a program called Museums for All, where if you have SNAP, EBT, and WIC benefits, if you're receiving those benefits, you may come to our museums, um, not just for a discount rate, but we've up the ante, and it's for free, actually, to any of our museums. Um, and we also uh, work with the uh, Children's Hospital and Ronald McDonald House delivering art therapy programs to um, sick kids in the hospitals. So there's a lot of opportunity there. Um, we also have partnered uh, with Gulfstream. They've sponsored uh, a Title I field trip that's been going on now for almost 10 years. Wow. And every single Title I first grade student comes to Savannah Children's Museum at absolute no cost to them and their families. Now, why is it so important for you that you all put an initiative like this in place for our community? That's a great question. Uh, so I think that traditionally, uh, many people view museums as so sort of an elitist kind of a thing, and it's really not. It's all of our history. We have something for everyone, and we want to make sure that every community member, every family has an opportunity to come and engage and create lifelong learning opportunities uh, for our young people moving forward. So we want it to be accessible to everyone and for everyone to feel like it's a second home to them. And remind me what museums you all have. I know you guys have a plethora, and not everybody knows your full list. Oh, yes. It's a long <laughs> one. We, we operate six museums in Savannah, uh, and they include Savannah History Museum, Georgia State Railroad Museum, Savannah Children's Museum, uh, Old Fort Jackson, Pinpoint Heritage Museum, and Harper Folks House. So a little something for everyone. And I have to tell you, my daughter went to the Savannah Children's Museum oh, um, for the first time, and she loved it. She enjoyed it so much. Thank so you. So it was super cool. Um, now, you guys are hoping to get some people for fundraisers for this. Tell me a little bit about that and how they can get involved. Absolutely. So there are costs associated to this that um, Coastal Heritage Society is committed to continue pursuing. And so the community can support this initiative by going to our website to donate and uh, you can go to chsgeorgia.org and click donate and you'll find the CHS All In initiative there. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Such great things you all are thank doing you. in the community and hopefully we'll get to some museums soon. I have to check out a few on that list too yes. that I haven't been to yet. Bring your daughter <laughs> back to Savannah Children's Museum. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yes, very nice having you. Thank you. <laughs> so cooling off in the pool during the soaring